Okay, so you, we're here with Pedro, working on hairline design. It's one of the most important steps that, that will determine how the rules is to uh, make it to look as natural as possible. Okay, so and it has to be age appropriate, of course. pictures to confirm that that's what actually the client wants okay and so once we determine where is the lower line we have to look at uh, at the widow's peaks widow's peaks are very important for men okay the hairline so they typically correlate with the angle of the eye right here and one of the ways to look is maybe somewhere in here, and that's where uh, Pedro's natural widow's peaks are. It's right in here. Okay, so we to make this vision in line, and it correlates around here. I use the Coles instrument tool to make a precise measurement, and it is applied right at the glabella has to be centered perfectly and now I can see here's the lower border of the hairline and we got the widow's peaks the way I use it I just it's very simple so it gives us distance here laterally on both sides and they have to be roughly the same. We're almost done. And all I have to do is connect those dots. What is important is to actually restore the side peaks. This is called a side peak. And as you can see, did experience some significant hair loss. By restoring a side peak, you, we actually create a more natural look, and that's what we gonna do today as well. Okay, of course, it isn't just a general guideline. The actual hairline will be irregular with macro and micro irregularities, and uh, most of the side making will be performed by the robot. Why is it important to trim hair short? Because if you can zoom in a little bit and just bring your head a little bit down, when you look at the density you can see how different different uh, different spot uh, the de density is different. So when we trim your hair short it will allow us to fix the uh, hair loss on microscopic level and, and to match the density perfectly. It is done by the robot uh, and we, and we utilize robotic side making 100% of the time. I think it's very important because we're able to avoid any unnecessary injury to the pre-existing hair. The robot is so precise it can place those little nicks, little incisions right in between pre-existing hair follicles minimizing any injury which we cannot guarantee when you do it by hand okay it's also very controlled uh, uh, the depth of the incision is controlled with the robot so we don't want to uh, cause unnecessary injury to the underlying structures such as uh, nerves and blood vessels